Guys, this is Karif, aka Sonic19, bringing you a deck profile of Nightmare Land, my deck profile of it. We're going to start with the grade threes as of right now. <clears throat> We're starting off with the boss card of the deck Queen of Nightmare Land, Hartrude. Generation Break 1, Counter Blast 1. Choose one of your rear guards and retire when this unit attacks or is being attacked. And this unit gains 1k for each Nightmare Land in the soul. Great defense card. Next is the supporting grade 3. We have Sweet Predator. Generation Break 1, Vanguard or Rear Guard Circle. During a turn, during your main phase, when this when a card is put into the soul, this unit gains 3k. So, basically that's a boss card for uh, Doreen. Those are the grade threes. Next, we're gonna go into the grade twos. We have Dumb of Nightmare Land, our strongest attacking grade two skill, generation break one. When a card when his partner card, D of Nightmare Land is put into soul, Dumb becomes a permanent eleven K. And during the battle phase for every grade for every copy of itself in the soul, it gains two K. It's a pretty good combo card. <clears throat> Next, we're running three Alluring Succubus. Flirtation Succubus, sorry. <clears throat> Vanguard of Rigor Circle, Soul Charge 1. Pretty straightforward. Next, sorry, we're running four of those. Next, we're running two. Blood Sacrifice Ravine. This card is a basic early game card if you can get it off. Choose a card from your hand, discard it when this unit is placed on Rhaegar Circle. If the number of cards in your soul is four or more, you may pay the cards, draw a card, and soul charge a card. <clears throat> Due to the Nightmare Land starter, this can be very easily achieved in the beginning of the game. Now, here comes one of our more useful grade twos Fragic Claw. Tragic Claw, sorry. When, this, when a unit is placed in front of it, soul charge one. Darkness. If there are 10 or more cards in the soul, this unit gains boost. If there are 15 or more, it gains 2k. So this can be an 11k booster. But what people really might not know, if you place it behind the Vanguard, every time you stride, you can soul charge one. <clears throat> Those are our grade twos. Going into our grade ones. We're running four perfect guards, which are the Nightmare Land perfect guards. <clears throat> Sorry, my voice is a little hazy. March Rabbit of Nightmare Land. Basically, just a normal original perfect guard. Next, we have Stry Fodders, the Sharat Stry Fodder. Sucky Miss of Pure Love. Basically, just Stry Fodder. Because we don't run Sharat in this deck. Next, we're going to the Grade 1 Nightmare Land unit. <clears throat> Dormouse of Nightmareland, Generation Break 1, Restless Unit. Choose one of your Vanguards and it, and it gains 1k for each of your Nightmareland units in the soul. Then, Auto Skill. When this unit is dropped, when this unit is put into the drop zone from Murder Circle, so charge 1. Then, if that is during the turn, choose one of your Nightmareland. Sorry. Then, if that that is during your turn, choose one of your units with Nightmare Land in this, in this card name, and it gains 4k. So, you can also give this to the Rear Guard or the Vanguard when this unit is dropped. Finally, for the Grade 1s, we have Combust Vampire, which I think is one of the more underrated commons. Very good card. Generation Break 1 Rest, Soul Charge 1. And give a, if there are 6 cards in the Soul, give the unit 5k. This card can come in very clutch when going into higher columns and higher numbers and getting there very easily with a soul charge to activate your darkness abilities. Those are all of our grade ones. Let me move these out of the way. <clears throat> grade twos. Okay, going into our grade zeros now. Going into the starter of the deck is... Going to the starter is... Spade, Jack of Nightmare Land. Very good starter, in my opinion. 
when when a unit rides on top of him, you draw one card and then choose a card from your hand of Soul Charger, which helps you build your Nightmare Land Soul. Then during the Stride skill, this is one of the one of the only starters that I know of that has a Stride skill. You may call this unit to the field and Soul Charge one. So off of his skill alone, you can Soul Charge up to two cards in, during your play, helping you build your Nightmare Land Soul. <clears throat> Next we have. Two Igmatic Assassins. Basically, this card is all is known. No need to tell you what it does. So that's what I run for that. Next, I run two draw triggers, which are and just for the Nightmare Land name, Mad Hatter of Nightmare Land. Without a hand in it, if you can't sustain a hand in this, in this deck, you're not going. You have no chance of surviving. Next, we run four stand trigger, which are the, which in my opinion are the greatest, one of the greatest stand triggers in the dark, in uh, <clears throat> darker regular, excuse me, and a staple in, in all decks. Monochrome of Nightmare Land. Generation Break One. Put this unit onto the top of your deck. Shuffle your deck. So charge one card. And if the number of cards are six or more, counter charge. And the number of cards are ten or more, draw one card. So basically, this is a counter charge, draw, and stand trigger all in one. Next, I run the Nightmare Land Crit, which is, again, what I was saying is D of Nightmare Land's partner. Let me just get him out. D of Nightmare Land partner. And if you notice, the mat. Yes, very nice. Generation Break 1. Put these units to the soul. <clears throat> if you have a Vanguard with Nightmare Land as card name, choose one of your units and it gains 1k for each card with Nightmare Land in its card name in the soul. Then the chosen card is Dumb of Nightmare Land. Draw one card. So this is also a crit, power, and draw card. Next, I run four heals. Basic. Two Cheshire Cat of Nightmare Land. And two Alice of Wonder, Alice of Nightmare Land. And for finally to round it all off, I run two Critical Triggers, Dark Knight of Nightmare Land, basic 3k into the soul, just good as a crit. That's the main deck. Going into the G zone now. Get all these out of the way. So. I got some new cards from the new Fighter Collection set. First off is Crit Heat Elemental Meldol. Very good at getting you to Generation Break 2 off of First Stride or waiting later down the road to gain a more powerful with having more cards in the G Zone. Once per turn, choose a face down card in the G Zone to turn it face up. And to end of turn, this unit gains the auto ability. When this unit attack hits a Vanguard, choose one of your rear guards and it gains 5k for each face up card in your G zone to end a turn. Very good card because within this deck, you can rack up a lot of power for a lot of your columns. And this card is a very good pressure card because no one wants that much power coming at them, especially if it has a crit on it. Next, I run, excuse if I can't get the name right, Great Demon Soulless Daggle. Very good combo card if you know you have a lot of cards in, in your hand that, can, that are going to be able to soul charge this turn. During your main phase, when this unit is put into the soul to end a turn, this unit gains constant. During your turn, all your all your units in the front row gain 1k. So, if you're able to soul charge 7 times, that's 7k constant to the front row. Next, I run 2. Great, I'm sorry, Mask of Demonic Frenzy, Erectorus. Good, good, good first stride. Darkness. When this unit attacks the Vanguard, so you, you may so charge you. It's not an option. If the number of cards in your soul is six or more until the end of the turn, this unit gains auto. When this unit attack hits a Vanguard, choose one of your opponent's rear guards and retire it. And an additional, and if the number of cards in your soul are 15 or more, this unit gains 1k for each card. So this is a bit. If you're able to so charge to up to 15 or at least 13 during your first turn before you stride, this is a very good heavy hitting first stride. 
Next, I run two Rebellion, Rebellious Retainer of Fresh Blood Frederick. Very good combo card with, excuse me, Enigmatic, Enigmatic, Enigmatic Assassin. Because if you're not able to so charge Enigmatic Assassin during your normal turn, if you get into hand, this is a good card to fix that problem. Axio, choose a card from your hand and put it into the soul. And if the number of cards in your soul is 10 or more, this unit gains 1k for each card in your soul. And choose two rear guards in the front row, and those two units gain 5k. You can only use this turn, your skill once per turn. Very good card. Next, which is, a, I, in my opinion, is a staple. Every darker regular deck should have it. I run four. Abominable one, Guild Arise. Which again is a common card in all dark regular decks. So I won't go too much into him. You should know what he does already. Next up is the new GB8. Casket of uh, Absolute Zero. Ruthless Betray. Kind of hard to get into this. Kind of Very kind of hard to get into GB8. That's why you run. That's why you use a lot of your uh, G Guardians to get you there. I don't run the new GB8 but. It, it seems to be working for me. Generation Break 8. All the units in your front row gain plus 13 for every 13 cards in soul and one crit. This is a very good pressure pressure finishing game. Especially since Dark Regulars can't so cannot superior call that often. Unless you're using the effects of Enigma. Now we're going into the G Guardians. I run three copies of Three copies of False Dark Wings, Agrat, Bat, Malat. Just for the simple soul charging. But you know what she does. And one copy of Nighttime Gentleman, St. Germain. Just for that, just for the plus 10k for 36k guard. And just to have the resist is always a good plus. Uh, as of right now, that is my, sorry, my room's a little bit messy. <laughs> that is my deck profile for Nightmare Land build. Hope you like it.